So to summarize, is the world warming? We've decided it has been warming, though perhaps by less than surface temperature record states. And certainly we haven't seen any warming in the last 10 years. Um, some of this warming, but probably not most, may have been due to man, but it's also been due to the sun and and, and decadal climate cycles and a number of other factors we probably still don't understand. We've seen most importantly probably that man's future contribution to warming is being greatly exaggerated, not through the quote-unquote settled science of greenhouse gas theory, but from this relatively obscure and really not talked about much assumption that's far from settled science that the Earth's climate is dominated by positive feedback. And it's from this positive feedback, not greenhouse gas theory, but from this positive feedback theory from which the catastrophe stems. We really aren't seeing any catastrophic effects of warming. That shouldn't be surprising because we haven't seen much warming over the last decade. But we're not seeing the droughts and floods and hurricanes. And if anything, they're going the opposite direction. And as a result, you know, because CO2 doesn't seem to be causing much temperature increase and because the cost is so high for these programs, it just does not make any sense as a priority for the world to be spending their money and spending most of their attention on the CO2 issue. There's so many better ways to spend our focus and our productivity and our, our attention and our mental energy. So I guess my basic message to everyone is you're going to see all these catastrophic forecasts. You're going to see demands that you spend a lot of money abating CO2. All I can tell you is don't panic. I welcome you to visit.